Hi, my name is Josh Rhodes. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, how engineering recruiting and recruiting engineers is uh, you know, widely different from uh, recruiting positions across several industries. Typically when I start uh, recruiting an engineer, of course, I look at that individual's resume, but when I get on the phone with them, I'm looking for more than what's on their resume. I'm going to ask them questions that talk about their you know, engineering knowledge, how well they communicate, how well they plan. Uh, the general knowledge of the industry they're in, um, their customer focus, their ability to learn and retain information, as well as their safety awareness, because most engineers are going to work inside a manufacturing environment. Um, those are all general uh, questions and fields we want to learn about uh, every candidate we talk to, uh, but getting down uh, narrowly on what makes recruiting uh, on an engineering opportunity different than recruiting on another opportunity is engineering roles uh, tend to be very, very niche. Um, a lot of clients we work with in the manufacturing realm, you know, whether they're hiring a process engineer or a manufacturing engineer or a controls engineer, they want to see a person from a similar industry. Uh, for example, if I'm hiring a mechanical engineer who's going to focus on implementing new machinery at a pulp and paper plant, uh, generally that client I'm working with is going to want to see a, a mechanical engineer coming from a competitor or a similar industry because they'd be able to walk in and hit the ground running already knowing the type of machinery that are being used, knowing you know the type of safety environment. Uh, that's going to be present in that facility. Uh, paper and pulp does have a, a high flammability and uh, hazmat involvement, so generally pulling someone from that, that same industry uh, can, can be very, very beneficial and make them stand out to your client. Um, just in addition to, uh, to the type of industries, program knowledge is going to stand out uh, to companies. Finding engineers that have a similar, similar skill set in the terms of programming. So if I'm working on a controls engineer position and the client I'm working with uses Allen Bradley PLCs and the candidate I'm recruiting is coming from a uh, Siemens PLC background, um, typically the client I'm working with is going to want to see the person you know, coming from the, the similar automation background using that, that same type of PLC. Um, so just when you ask engineering questions when you recruit engineers, you have to get down to the technicality behind it. Uh, the resume can only say so much, and e even job titles can be confusing or misleading to uh, you know, recruiters. Some, some companies might you know, call this an applications engineer, but really it's a mix between a controls engineer and an electrical engineer, and it's up to the recruiter to ask the questions that narrow down an individual's skill set to match them up with the job description. Uh, some of the things that we do here differently at Search Solution Group uh, than other uh, recruiting and headhunting firms is we're able to ask the questions that you know narrow down on that skill set of an engineer. So rather than asking a candidate, hey, do you have Allen Bradley programming experience? Hey, have you worked with boilers or furnaces before? Um, obviously, I'm gonna gonna find out that information, but I'm thinking long term. I'm asking, you know, what skills have you developed over? you know, the past year or two that can make you a beneficial engineer on someone's team. Um, what's a time you confronted a problem that really tested your engineering know-how? How did you go about that problem? If I'm recruiting a project manager, I may, you know, throw a question at them like, well, what's a time where you had to travel to a job site to install something and you just couldn't, couldn't install that piece of equipment? How are you proactive and able to show how you can manage cross-functionally and retain that customer uh, for the project uh, with your current business. Um, also going to ask questions like what are types of technical decisions you've made uh, over the past year or two in your role, just to really get the candidate to elaborate on their technical ability, technical expertise, and technical know-how so I can match their skill set with the position and ultimately if they can explain that to me, they're going to be able to sell themselves and explain their, their technicality and know-how to a client of ours during an interview.